Can you imagine uh, you doing your skirt ready and shit, dude? What the fuck? Can you... Hey, dude. It's like my first rodeo. Your first rodeo? What does that mean? About to ride your ass. Stop looking at my ass. How did you know? I can see you. Okay. All right, fourth. I'm just I... thinking how it... flat it was. <laughs> It actually is really flat. <laughs> it's actually had a flat. Boy, Thank you... God I'm getting a new avatar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> God. God. Hawks 2x4 over here. <laughs> how, 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 how dare you? How dare you diss my ass, Forcible? After everything we've been um, Are you serious? Look what you're sitting next to. You're sitting next to greatness over here. And I don't mean me. I just mean these butt cheeks of fucking glory. Look at these things. I mean, they're hidden by the shorts now, but, you know. Can't what believe, are you going to do? Can't believe you unfriended me. Is that how much I mean to you? I explained it. It's your fault I unfriended you. <laughs> it's my fault? How is it my fault? I was up. Because there's this bug where your friends don't show up on your friends list when they're online and you have to unfriend them and friend them again. And you said you would be ready in an hour, so I was here. I was like, Wait, oh, he's not so, online. So that's my fault? That's not VR chat's fault? That's my yeah. fault? No, it's your fault because it wasn't a bug. It was just because you weren't on like you said you were. <laughs> what you, you know what? Oh, take this, take this mic off. I'm done. What the fuck? What? Come back. Come back. Listen, listen. I'll pay you extra. I mean, wait, what? Forcible. <clears throat> yes. <sighs> you know what? I've actually been I know excited. You're terrible. No, let me stop you because I know you're going to say the same thing you said. I watched all your videos today. I went and rewatched them. I know what you're going to say. Oh, I'm terrible with intros. So I, I prepared an intro for you. Okay. You just sit there and look pretty or try to. All right, I got this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Talks with Hawks. Your host, Hawks, here, interviewing Forcible and Kinetic today. Let's get right into some juicy questions. You're forci what does forcible. That mean, but, uh, what does, what I'm known online mean? as Forcible VR. What does that like, mean? Like, the meaning of my name. Yeah. The fuck does that mean? I don't know if you can actually film what the meaning of my name is, Hawks, all right? That's not really reason. I just like to tell people that's the reason. Um... Here's the real reason of why I'm forcible, okay? So a long time ago, when forcible was a little force, not even a bull yet, just force, mm -hmm. uh, back on, in Halo, on the original oh Xbox, I went by a tag. This is before they had, you know, online gameplay for the most part. I went by, by Doom. That was my tag, Doom. So when I played in tournaments and stuff, when it was a little wheeling, I would go as Doom. And then when Xbox Live came out, I was like, oh, I'm just going to be, I'll be Doom online, thinking, you know, not knowing much about the internet, that obviously someone was going to take Doom as their name. So it was like, that name's taken. Here's some suggestions. Forcible Doom and then a bunch of other crap. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Forcible Doom. So I was Forcible Doom all from like age of like 10 to 20, like 7, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm 28 right now. So up to a year ago, I was Forcible Doom. And then when I started streaming, I was like, Forcible Doom kind of sounds lame. Let's get rid of the Doom and just be forcible. That's like intimidating. That's, it's, it, it, it implies power of some sort, right? So I just cut off the Doom and became forcible. And then when I went to make a Twitch account or rename my Twitch account, because I've had a Twitch account since Justin.tv, uh, forcible was taken. So I had to add VR at the end because I was doing VR. Um, so that's how I got forcible. And then the VR tagged on the end. Your avatar with this name, and it was very unique. Very unique. Mm -hmm. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't say anything like you know, that. You know, a lot of people, you know, when I did my voice reveal, were shocked that I was a, you know, as a dude, obviously, because I was a mute. Um, and uh, I know there's a lot of people that do mutes out in this community, and there's nothing wrong with that. I love mutes. mutes whatever you want to do to express yourself in an online game or community that's all up to you but believe it or not it wasn't necessarily my choice to become a mute it was an all an accident you see um back when i first got vr i actually talked there was videos around of me talking while i was a mute uh from oh God, i can't remember his name but anyway so the reason i was mute for so long is because I was obviously dancing, so I, I needed a wireless option. So I went with TP Cast. Mm -hmm. um, and TP Cast, for those that were lucky enough never to use it, does not allow you to use a microphone. I hopped in with my Vive and controllers and played one day with just the Vive and controllers. And then I saw another YouTube video of this dude in a cowboy avatar. He did a handstand. I was like, screw this. I want to do that. <laughs> so I immediately took off my headset and never touched it again until my Vive trackers came in, put them on. 
And then I played for like three weeks, just running around talking, and I had like different avatars. And when I played this game initially, I didn't just come in the game and, and I was me. I, I wanted to play a character. So I had like this one character that was this little devil bear, and he liked trying to make traps uncomfortable by saying they wanted to have, you know, because back in when I, we first were playing, traps made people uncomfortable. It wasn't as common and yeah, people true. didn't people actually like got offended or well, you know weird people but me i was like i'm gonna make them uncomfortable so i'm gonna go try to have sex with them you know <laughs> like, i'm gonna turn the tables on them and then oh shit hang on these hips are uncontrollable too much power uh don't lie so <laughs> so I, I started doing that and then i got banned off youtube because of uh some fluke i don't know and so I was forced to go to other medium, Twitch. And I actually wanted to avoid Twitch for the longest time. So I was like, I'm going to get banned I instantly. Because saying. I was in a, a, yeah, yeah. I was, I'm a skimpy girl and with her thong popping out, doing lewd dances. Everyone thought I was y'all just doing lap dances all the time. That was like very rare. I'd do lap dances. It's just my biggest video on YouTube at the time. So that's what everyone's like, oh, give me a lap dance. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm losing track of where I'm going with this, but... Long story short, I forgot what the question was. Continue. Uh, it's crazy. The last question I asked was about your name. So you pretty much answered it. Uh, I got, I... <laughs> Let me get my questions up. All right. I, uh... <laughs> Do I even need to be I'm here? So, you can probably just talk to a camera by yourself. I, uh... I am so sorry. No, no, it's okay. It again. No, it's, okay. it's okay. No, you're making my life easier. It's fine. It's, it's all good. Mm. Um, so YouTube started blowing up. Okay. Yeah. Right. From there, you got banned on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how did you feel about that? What, what was your initial reaction? Uh, was you pissed? I was upset at first. I was very pissed because the, I got banned because of a junk rat. I uploaded a video of me giving junk rat a lap dance, and it exploded. And I got banned because of it. And I got banned for sexual content. I then repealed the ban, saying, and I quoted their own TOS that. Any dance form is considered a performance art and not a bannable offense. Um, and they immediately revoked the ban after I sent them that little spow right to their yeah. face because I was I was not in the wrong by their own words. They revoked the ban, but the damage was done. Mm-hmm. Um, and I already moved on to Twitch where it was where they actually support their content creators, unlike YouTube. Unlike what? Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> unlike what this is going to be uploaded to. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm like that. Let's talk about kinetic. Kinetic. So, yes. right. What do you want to know about kinetic? I want to know. Force. When I met you, force, there was no kinetic, right, at that time. There was just well, I guess there was, mm-hmm. there, there was the duo of you, K. Actually, no, Venerak was there as well, right? So there was a trio of you, Venerak, and, and Gaze. Yeah, me, so, Gaze, and Venerak. Yeah. yeah. So back then there was no, there was no, there was no team. There was no stream team or anything, right? Nope. So, so, so just how, a group how, of friends. How did it come about? Who, who brought it up? Who was like, "Yo, let's let's do this." Um, I, boy, uh, man, I gotta think about this one because I know it was like because not a lot of people. Once I blew up, um, like I, I gotta get a little backstory before I get into that, just so you understand. Talked to two people at this time, K's and Venerat. I talked to them. We had a Discord thing. We were going back and forth, and we had plan. We did all this stuff, and. You know, we got very close, obviously, because of that, because they were the only people I could really talk to. Yeah. Um, so, soon after, like, we got close, Junkrat came into it, because um, he was actually part of the group before the team was formed and everything, as well, as you know. Um, so, Junkrat came into it, and we got close to Junk, and we had this whole dynamic going. We all played off each other. Me and Venerat could dance together. Um, like, once I got tired of dancing, I could take a break. He could come out and start dancing. Yeah, yeah. When, you know, he got yeah. tired, we could switch. Or if he wasn't on, Kays would be on, and he'd come out and start doing his mad raps. Yeah, yeah. He, Sorry. He'd start doing, like, <laughs> rapping and doing his funny. So Kays is a hilarious person with his big chubby cheek. He was always yeah. making me laugh. I love Kays. <laughs> and not only that... Kays is like the sole reason I'm as successful as I am because he edited videos for me. He did thumbnails for me. He set up my stream page for me, all that for nothing. Just because it was the kindness of his heart. He he was there backing me up. And I really, I, I never forgot that. And I never will. And we all sat down one day and I was like, look, when one of us makes partner, we need to form a team. Because we took a lot of inspiration from... Uh, Midnight Central, because they were a team, they were so well known, they were known as a group, they weren't known as one individual for the most part, and P 
people when you have that kind of community that can jump between streams it makes a stronger bond not only with your friends but with your community and uh so when i made partner i made the team it was formed and you know the rest is history Cause I, I, like i feel blessed because i was there from the beginning and i seen it kind of i seen i seen the evolution mm -hmm. of it and now looking at you guys i'm mm -hmm. so I'm, I, I'm legitimately proud of you guys i really am um, Thank you. I, I can't tell you how proud of you we were when we you finally got that check mark. Oh my god! You know, <laughs> like we were sitting there chilling with each other because you know we used to have our little meetings. We're like, you know, Hawks just got part of this. Like this whole week is hype. All mm. our friends were like doing so well because you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go off on another tangent. I'll okay, keep it short. Yeah, this time, I promise. Right, let's go. One thing I want to say is when we made kinetic, right? We we know we there was a lot of negativity in the community mm -hmm. you know around the time it came and people fighting over things this that and the other when we made kinetic our goal was to not be negative you know be just promote positivity have a good time be happy enjoy the game it's a game people it's not it's not nothing more than that you know you can make friends it through it. sure you can have you. you can have a whole life through it but you have to remember at the end of the day it's a game you can log off and go to sleep no one can do anything exactly. just exactly. get off yeah. So we made the team. We we're like, we gotta be positive. We gotta promote that. You know, if we have drama, we keep it in behind closed doors, like grown people yeah, should yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Certainly you know, sometimes it doesn't work. You know, I, sometimes I log on to Twitter and I make a fool of kinetic and start yeah. running my mouth because I love talking shit. But I can't do that like I want to. If you saw the amount of tweets I've had to delete in my career, you'd probably <laughs> think I'm a terrible person. But I, I shit you not, I was actually put on, I was actually grounded from using Twitter. Kinetic said, forcible, no more. You, oh you have to check with us before you tweet <laughs> anything. Because I just... You just kept talking your mind? I'm, I'm that kind of person, yeah, I'm the kind of person that just speaks their mind. And I don't, I don't I'm not used to people being so pansy-ish and not being able to take someone's opinion and be all butthurt. But anyway, we'll continue. I'm sorry, that's that my tangent. Kinetic, we love positivity. Sometimes I screw it up. Sometimes other people screw it up in the team. But for the most part, just enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. game. Have fun. Yeah. Do what you want to do. If you want to be mute, you want to be a trap, you want to dance, you want to, you know, yell. Don't let take over your life. People for laughs. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. log off sometimes. Go yeah. look outside and yeah, realize how horrible it is and then come back. Smell the flowers like we're doing, right? Because this is real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, yeah, I, he's a mad lad. Look at that mad lad. I, I hate your face you so much. Me? I fucking hate your face so much. Insane. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. So, okay, is you mute? Fuck's sake. Where's my strap? I like his. Anyway. Hmm. So we've talked about your first time of your chat. We've talked about the coalition of kinetic members uh, everyone coming together how strong you guys are how mm -hmm. like how you started mm -hmm. off like you guys are you know you guys are all growing everyone's growing it's crazy it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing to see mm -hmm. now i want to ask you have you got any favorite moments on vr chat or with your team um you know i had to think a while about this question i'm glad i watched your videos ahead of time so i could think about this question um, i have two big moments that pop out to me okay. when i think of vr chat um i'm gonna go with the an, an obvious one um i remember before getting into vr chat i watched all these youtubers and uh, mainly youtube videos i didn't really watch twitch i don't didn't care for twitch before that but you know i saw all these people and i'm like oh man they're so famous they're so cool they're so funny you know like you know a lot of people on youtube do yeah. and then that, there was a day i remember there's this one day in particular where my hips went crazy and I, I logged into the game and someone's like, hey, so-and-so wants to meet you as a, a famous, I won't, I won't drop names, but there's like this one big person wants to meet you. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Someone wants to meet me? Like, who am I? So I met this person and then I was in a world with them and then all of like every big person I've ever seen on YouTube for this game showed up and just hanging out. And I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah. Every big person I've looked up to is here. You know, you, you got, you know, the big team at the time, like the only team in this game really. Like, all of them were there. You had all these other people there. I was like, this this is mind-blowing. I'm meeting, like, not necessarily heroes, but people I looked up to. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, I've never in my life would imagine I'd meet these people. More sentimental and close to heart one was, uh, I believe it was our, it was a, we used to have these meetings every week uh, for Kinetic, and we had this one. I think it was our second meetup. 
and we had all the team there. We had, you know, Kaze, Venerac, Arnie, um, Bonfire was there, like everybody. Like we had, you know, Neko Bueno, our, you know, the video, our video editor, all the, our, our closest friends were in this room. And it was on this fireworks map on a boat. It was like some Chinese or Japanese map. And we were just having our meeting, having some drinks, having a good time. And just, we were all booming at the time. Our careers were on a, a huge hype. We were all growing. And at the end of the night, before we all logged off, we wanted to take a picture to remember the moment. So we went outside on the dock and we all lined up, put our arms around each other. And we were looking, watching the fireworks show, it's exploding. And we were all just lined up. And I remember, and I'm not, I'm not a very emotional person at all. I'm a lot of people, you know, that are close to me would describe me as a pretty emotionless. I'm very straightforward, logical person. But I remember sitting there and I had my arms around nothing in real life, right? They're just sitting here like this. But in my eyes, I had these people that I just met in, you know, a relative amount of time, you know, a couple months that I felt so close to that I was having so much fun with. Mm. And we took the picture. I mean, we were all sitting there. And everybody went on, you know, after we took the picture, everyone scattered and was just talking. And I was just like looking down. I'm just like, this is amazing. And like, if I had the physical ability to shed a tear, I probably would have shed a couple then. It's just like, it's one of them things as well. It's like, you, you, you've created a, not just a team, but, you know, a family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That's our motto in Kinetic. We're friends first, streamers second. That's, from day one, that's been our motto. Yeah. And I've, we've stuck to it. That's the best thing to do, honestly. It really is. Who who is forcible outside VR chat? Have you got any hobbies? What do you like to? Forcible outside of VR chat is kind of interesting, or at least people tell me it's interesting, especially when people find out what I do for a living and what I collect yeah. in my personal life. Um, so on a professional standpoint, I have a career outside of this. This is not a job in any form for me. I, I'm actually in the Coast Guard. I work law enforcement and search and rescue. Yeah. So technically, you know. I fight crime and save lives when yeah. I'm at work, and then I come home and dance as a woman. <laughs> it's crazy, that's, isn't that's... it? I collect video game stuff, like consoles, games, uh, merchandise, like uh, like those cardboard standees you see at GameStop. I see those in my mouth waters. Like, oh, I want that in my house. <laughs> you know, so okay. I, the last, last time I last time I did an estimate, it was like oh, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars worth of video game stuff in Fucking my house. Cow. Like people okay. come in my house and they literally think it's a GameStop because there's just so much. It's overwhelming. I actually have half of it packed up in the current house that we live in because it's just not room for it. But I love doing that. I love collecting stuff. Going out, not just buying it online. That, that's lame. I like going out into the wild, as we call it as collectors, and finding them and Scavenging. physically find, digging through a garbage or a pile of trash at a, at a you know resale shop and going, oh, man, look, a $500 game in a yeah. dollar bin. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's what I love to do. Mm-hmm. I, okay. Mm-hmm. Let's look back at when I first met you. I actually messaged you on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Specifically. So, um, I made a video um, fucking like February, March time. Probably but going back to March, March. probably. Mar- it's probably about March, yeah. Um, yeah. I made a video and someone commented on there and they were like, you need to get in contact with Forcible. And I was like, who's Forcible? Just typed your name in. I was like, oh, wow, this guy has loads of subscribers. I think he had like 10,000 at the time, which was lo- loads for me because I only had like a, a few hundred. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like, this guy's never going to message <laughs> me back. Then you replied and you added me. And I was like, oh my God, this person added me. And then I think at the time I was getting married. I was getting VR married. I was doing the RP. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. Yeah. Anyway. It was, uh, it was right before your marriage, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that was, that was definitely March then. Uh, so you uh, joined me. He started dancing for me, and I was like, mm-hmm. this is the first time I've seen a dancer on this game. It was the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life. I saw this other guy. I saw you, Hawks is ripping, with his little broken heart sewn together, surrounded by ladies all the time. I'm like, look at this guy right here. He's lucky I don't talk. I'm going to make this little lion over here, a little cub, all right? <laughs> Oh my god. Is that, is that... All I had to do, all I had was my body. That's the only way I could really body flirt. Lang- you had body language. Time. You know, you had body language, yeah. man. Yeah, so I'm like, I remember looking at you going, man, I'm gonna, I could rip this dude apart and take all his ladies if I could talk. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, I really enjoyed your company. I like you. We had a lot in common at the time, and it was it was fun to be around. No, nah, it, it's always been fun. It's always been fun hanging around you. You to pick me up. Yeah, no, I'll still pick you up. 
Boy, I'll pick you up. <laughs> I didn't even know it was the whole time. You need a you need a you need a big pokeball to catch that one. <laughs> You don't even, actually you don't even need a Pokeball, you just get a Snickers bar and you run right up to you. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Forcible. So it's that time in the interview yes. where we close things off and I ask you, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of life? Uh, meaning of life. Me not being simple, I'll give you two answers, a scientific and an emotional. Uh, scientifically, I believe the meaning of life is to reproduce. Yes, as simple same, as that. Same, Boom. Same. Just like every other animal. Mm -hmm. But in an emotional sense, uh, I'll say this. Um, I think the meaning of life is to enjoy the day. Okay. Um, I think, and what I mean by that is I think a lot of people worry about tomorrow. They worry about the future. Tomorrow will never come. That's what makes it tomorrow. If you live constantly planning for tomorrow, you never enjoy what happens today. So stop what you're doing. Not all the time, obviously. You know, in a logical standpoint, don't do this. But every once in a while, stop what you're doing and enjoy yourself what you're doing today. Enjoy your friends you have with you today. Enjoy the game that you're playing today. Enjoy that piece of cake you're eating right there. Just enjoy what's happening now. Yeah. Don't worry about then. Don't worry about back then. It's just enjoy yourself, you know. Smell the roses, they say. So yeah. that's what I think the main line is to enjoy what you have today. First of all, thank you very much. I appreciate it. No, thank you've you. Been, you've been amazing. You're beautiful. You know, Force? I, I'm only amazing as the people I surround myself with. You've always been one of my favorite people in this game. You're not getting in my pants, but thank you. That, that, that's okay. If you guys want to follow Forcible, I'll put all the Forcible's links in the description. And I'll also put the team link. Follow all the members of Kinetic. Support them all. Because they're all really good friends of mine. And they've, they've supported me. They've all supported me. I've supported them. We're, we're all homies, man. You know, we're all one big family. That's what we are. One big VR chat family. Um, so, with that being said, when are we going on a date? Uh, I don't, I, if, if you can't afford it, you know, just call me. Okay. You know what? This could be believe me all the time <laughs> and that's it we're done with forcibles ah, let me stop recording just to go. oh don't do that please. oh no